Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about probability. First, what is probability? The probability is the measure of the chance of an event happening. So, if A is an event, the probability of event A happening is represented by A under the parenthesis equal to number of ways this event can happen divided by total number of possible outcomes. Take for example, Raju and his uncle are playing board game using two dice simultaneously. Now, Raju needs 11. What are the chances that he would get 11 using the two dice? Each dice would have outcome 1 out of the 6 numbers. And how do we get 11? It can only be 5 plus 6 or 6 plus 5 using the two dice. That is, first dice gives 5 and the second dice gives 6. Or the first dice gives 6 and the second dice gives 5. Now, how many different combinations Raju can get on the second dice? Say, 1 comes on the first dice, so for that, any of the 6 numbers may come on the second dice. For example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So, Raju may get 6 different results as 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5 and 1, 6. Now suppose 2 comes on the first dice and any of the 6 numbers may come on the second dice. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. So there could be 6 different results like 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5 or 2, 6. So two numbers on first dice and for each number on the first dice we may get six different combinations on the second dice. Six times six that is equal to 36 of total events. You know a list of all possible outcomes is called the sample space. So this is the sample space of two dice thrown simultaneously and it has 36 outcomes but if we see carefully only 2 out of these 36 outcomes is equal to 11 which are 5 plus 6 and 6 plus 5 so the probability of Raju getting 11 is 2 outcomes out of the 36 outcomes that is 2 by 36 and which is equal to 1 by 18. You know the probability that we measure from the experiment may not be same as what we get from the mathematical calculation. Like we toss two coins simultaneously. All the possible combinations that may come in the two coins are head head, head tail, tail head or tail tail. So this is the sample space of tossing two coins simultaneously. Now what is the probability that both will be heads? Out of all the possible outcomes which are head head, head tail, tail head and tail tail only one out of the four outcomes is both heads. So the probability is equal to the number of favorable outcomes which is two heads here and it comes only one time divided by the total number of outcomes which is four here. So probability of heads heads is equal to one by four. That is only one chance out of the total four chances will result in two heads together. Now let's do an experiment. If you toss two coins simultaneously 10 times and get both the heads only once then the probability of getting two heads would be 1 by 10 that is 
1 by 10 multiplied by 100 if we want to express it in percentage. So it is equal to 10%. Remember, probability refers to chances. If we throw a dice, the probability that 6 comes would be 1 out of the 6 chances theoretically. But 6 may not come every once in 6 trials and again 6 may come twice or thrice. Any number may come randomly. So the theoretical probability may not match with the real chances always. But if we do more trials, the result gets closer to the theoretical value. Like if we toss the dice 50 times and 6 comes 10 times, then the probability is equal to 10 by 50, which is equal to 1 by 5. And as we can see, 1 by 5 is closer to the theoretical probability of 1 by 6. So that was all about probability. Bye-bye children.